Um, so next, um, I'd invite individual submitter David East um, to the table. David, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Councillors, it's been a while since I've been here, but uh, good to see you all. Um, I'll just start with a couple of bouquets. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Community grants, uh, exceedingly pleasing to see that uh, you are going to elevate the uh, rate for uh, commu strengthening communities fund. We have a lot of our community groups under a lot of pressure at the moment, and that's a, a very good um, aspect of your annual plan. Rather tongue-in-cheek, I can say that I'm absolutely delighted that you are reversing the glyphosate um, issue. <clears throat> that was something that I alone voted against uh, way back. Uh, however, I would advocate that you do maintain a very stringent um, application procedure and, and adhere to um, very stringent health and safety procedures when you are using glyphosate again. Um, <clears throat> on the rate situation, I do acknowledge that you're in a bit of a no-win situation here, having, have, having to face uh, earthquake recovery um, expenditure and then on top of that the COVID-19 crisis. <clears throat> and, and nationally there's a call to maintain investment in uh, infrastructure, but locally there's that call to keep rates as low as possible. So it's uh, it's a no-win situation trying to balance both exercises. However, I do think that it's um, the time in our history is, is absolutely ripe now for a major rethink of how Council operates in terms of its um, procurement policy, which we get, seem to get uh, some absurd costs every now and again. I think of $950 odd thousand dollars for a toilet block and changing sheds in QE2 Park. How the hell we can justify that, I do not know. So there's a major need for a review of our procurement policies and expenditures. Uh, I support totally the sentiments that have been expressed recently by Richard Peebles and others about um, <coughs> reviewing a lot of our costs and our projects and uh, people talk about 40% of our rate take going on um, on wages and salaries and, and consultants fees within council. These are things that need a major, major overhaul. Uh, with the water rates, uh, I think uh, the drier areas of the city need some consideration uh, and I, whilst I sort of have an empathy for the direction we're going in, I'd like to have that considered. Just finally, um, it is disappointing for me to see a number of projects in the eastern suburbs uh, again deferred, the New Brighton, sorry, the QE2 master plan funded from monies that we sold uh, land to the Ministry of Education, again being deferred. Um, the Estuary Edge project seems to be dragging on and on and on. Legacy projects in the east are, are uh, dragging. Roading priorities just seem to go out the back door. We seem to get a, an asphalt strip down the middle of a road uh, or a chip and, and tar um, seal just covering the bumps, lumps and everything else that are in the city. So. I think there's a major need to reprioritise a lot of work and certainly in my mind a lot of earthquake legacy work is um, slipping behind the, um, the eight ball. So thank you for the opportunity to come in. Thank you for taking the time to um, And I, uh, I wish you well that. with your deliberations. I don't envy you at all. Um, I'm in, enjoying my life of semi-retirement and, <laughs> well, and thank not you. having to be browbeaten by each and every one. But um, thanks again for the Thank you for taking just over three minutes out of your semi-retirement to address us today. Thanks, David. Good to see you.